Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the trend that went around on Instagram and then moved over to YouTube, which is show me a photo of. And I asked you guys on Instagram to ask for some certain photos. So I really hope you enjoy this. It's something a bit different for my channel. So let me know if you enjoy this sort of a video where I get you guys involved in them. And I really hope you enjoy this and I'm probably gonna really embarrass myself. So let's go. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are on the way to 250. Not 1,000, 250. Um, so yeah, if you like my videos, then please can you subscribe? Um, so for this video, <laughs> I've asked on Instagram about an hour ago, like um, show me a photo of and got your suggestions. I have got out my iPad. <laughs> So I got this iPad in year nine and it's got some absolutely tragic photos on it. I've just had a quick scroll through to get some ideas of what's actually on there. Um, so I had it from, I mean, I've had it since year nine, but it stopped working properly, I think towards the end or when I was in sixth form. And I used to have a Blackberry and an iPad. So I used my iPad most of the time. Let's just get started. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> So the first one is, let me find it. You at school. Okay, so I've pop my best ones from school are probably on here because I had this during school. I know we used to take loads of pictures in science. <laughs> oh my God, some of them are just so bad. I actually can't go with how bad they are. Oh my God, I don't want to put that one on the internet. Oh, this is a funny one from school. <laughs> this is me and my friend Immy. She won't mind being on YouTube with this photo, I don't think and we are in biology and basically we were like properly into biology we both did biology a level but for some reason we just messed around so much in gcse biology and we used to take snapchats and this is one of those so i hope she doesn't mind that i'm putting this in the youtube video but yeah we didn't really take a lot of pictures in school my school was quite strict about using your phone um so there aren't many pictures from like in lessons and stuff most of mine are like drama pictures or dance pictures um so yeah that there's one from science with Immy. <laughs> your biggest fashion mistake eg your worst outfit or trend that you've tried oh my god i've probably got so many of these oh gosh some of these pictures just make me want to crawl up in a ball and hide i feel like my fashion wasn't that tragic when I was younger. I actually don't think any of these outfits are that bad. I'm wearing jeggings in most of them. It's not that bad because they were fashionable at the time, so. Okay, I don't think there's any bad ones on my iPad, so. We're now reverting to more modern day times. <laughs> okay, so there's something. I wouldn't necessarily say it was like a massive fashion flop, but I used to have this yellow cohort a few years ago and I bought it to go to Australia with because I thought, the cohort would be really good because I can mix and match and it's literally neon yellow. On the 30th of September 2017, me and Colette went for a night out and then I took it to Australia and I did wear the pieces separately so much and I think they look okay separate but I also did wear them the full yellow outfit quite a few times and it's something that I probably wouldn't wear now that I think, oh gosh, did I actually go out in that? Our Facebook. Facebook will defo have some bad fashion because I used to post stuff on Facebook in like maybe year seven, eight, and that's probably when the fashion was tragic. And I just remember some of the stuff we used to wear when we were younger. We used to, the bum shorts and the crop tops were just ridiculous. I was actually 12, where with my whole bum out. It's so embarrassing. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I'm literally wearing leather hot pants and I was 13. What was I thinking? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, does anyone remember this trend? The dweeb jumper, I've still got mine. I actually really need to sell it because I don't, I've not worn it since year nine probably. Uh, but me and my friend Em, if she's watching this, we used to have matching dweeb jumpers and we also used to have like the same pair of leggings. So we would always have matching outfits at sleepovers. <laughs> but I just can't believe I actually used to wear this dweeb jumper. And in this photo in particular, I'm wearing it was a shirt that had a leather collar and then blue denim shorts and then burgundy vans. Like vans were just so in fashion then. This was year eight or nine, I can't remember. I think year eight going into year nine. And I'm holding my camera like taking a selfie with the camera. 
Oh my god, it's so cringe. Yeah, that's got to be the worst one. Okay, next one. Your favourite role you've played. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think my favourite is between Marty in Greece and Elizabeth Proctor in The Crucible so far. So I know I've got some good Greece pictures on my iPad because I did Greece when I used my iPad. <laughs> to be fair, my face in this one is the funniest thing. <laughs> we'll just, we'll put this one in. So this is me and my friend Ellie, who's also at drama school. We just had so much fun in Greece and this photo just makes me laugh because of my face. Um, let me see if there's any others. So this is when I was singing my song, Freddie My Love, in Greece, which at the time I actually hated singing that song so much. Oh, we just all had so much fun doing this show. It was just such a great experience. Um, so yeah, that was, that was probably my favourite role. But then I also loved Elizabeth Proctor and that picture is on my phone. But that was it. Uh, Greece was in year 11 and that was, year 11 was 2015, March 2015. And the Crucible was March 2017. So I had like a really nice mugshot taken of me and it was put all around the school of just my face. Here's the poster. I'll crop out my school and stuff. I'll blur out uh, where I went to school. But yeah, there's my face and I'll blur out the other girls because I can't be bothered to message so many people asking if they can um, have their photo. But that was literally all around school, that photo. So it does make me laugh, but... Yeah, it was such, such a good role, Elizabeth Proctor. I was never expecting to get Elizabeth because it's not really my usual typecasting, but yeah, I really, really loved it and my teachers were amazing. Right, next one. You very drunk. <gasps> oh gosh. I've probably got so many, I don't know how I'll pick. I think I used to get like the most drunk when I was at school still. Um, I just couldn't handle it at all. I mean, I still can't really, but I, at that time, I really couldn't handle it. So probably year 13, I'm going to have to find. Oh, this was a really, really drunk day. <laughs> this was New Year's of 2016 going into 17. Um, we were at a house party, a boy and I year's house party, and I just got so trolleyed. That's a good one. Um, let's find another one. Oh, I've got some... <laughs> These are disgusting photos. This was on a cruise and it was the summer of 2017, so I was 18, just left school. And I just became such good friends with this girl Miranda and <laughs> we were just so pissed. <laughs> That's a good one. But just just know that there's, just, there's hundreds. To be fair, if I did this but went through my Snapchat memories as well, it, I'd be here for days, but my Snapchat memories definitely have Lots of questionable things. <laughs> this was our initiations party in first year. That was fun. Missed those times. I mean, it's nice out. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna move on, otherwise I could literally look for drunk photos for ages because there's so many. Your happiest day this year so far? Oh my gosh, don't know. Right, let's, let's have a look. My happiest day of the year so far? I've had like some really good days and some really bad days. I've enjoyed like different memories of different days I'd say. A few good memories of the year so I'll pick a couple of memories and talk about them. Uh, so one of my favourite memories of the year so far was when me and Fern went to go and watch the sunrise like that was just the most wholesome day ever. I've done a vlog of it so I'll just find a picture of me jumping in front of the sunrise. There we go. That's definitely one of my favourite memories of the year because it was just something that felt like it, the world wasn't the way the world is at the minute it just felt so different and yeah it just it was so nice and just made me really appreciate where i live and everything um other fun things have been like facetime calls and zoom calls with different friends and family but i don't have like screenshots or pictures of those um but i've had some really funny ones we've done like a casino night with all my family up north um when we were celebrating my grandma's and my dad's and my cousin-in-law's birthdays um, via Zoom. And we've done like family bingo and family quizzes. I've had a couple of FaceTimes with people from uni and some friends from home. And so they've all been really nice and special memories because it's just like the only normal things we can do at the moment. Um, other than that, 
can't really think of much. Next one says prom. My prom photos are on my iPad. I had such short hair at prom, you wouldn't believe it. I got it cut thinking it would, I got it cut in the March after I'd done Greece and I thought it would grow back before the June. I was so stupid, I don't, don't know why I thought that. Here's a really cute one. This is me and Kate at prom. We got ready together and then I had pre-prom at my house. So we all took our photos in that really ugly spot right there with really bad lighting. And then we took some pictures out in the garden, but that's me and Kate at prom. We look so young. I can't believe how young we look. Uh, let me find a group picture from prom. So this was all the gals that had pre-prom at mine. So it's me, Lucinda, Kate, Tash, Fran, Amy and Tush. And yeah, I love this picture of us. We all look so young. I can't believe how young we look. At the time, we thought we were so old as well. It's hilarious. Oh, we're so cute. That's a really cute one. Yeah, I loved prom. Prom was really fun and like, basically just spent the whole night dancing. We had a band and I was dancing and because I was in charge of the food on prom committee, I literally sat and made, sure, well, stood by all the food and made sure I had loads of it. Cause I was like, I'm the one who organized this, so I need to eat it all. Um, some people are like, I can't eat in my prom dress. I was literally there like stuffing my face. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed prom. After prom was probably more fun than actual prom. But yeah, it was, it was really cute. I loved our prom. Your family. I'll probably pick one from our family holiday last summer. Cause that was like all of us. I think this is the only one of all of us. Um, and so this was July, 2019. I was gonna say last July, but it wasn't. It was 2019. Um, and that's all of us in front of the castle. I love that one, it's really cute. We got quite a few of like different groups of us, but that's the only one of all of us. And it's probably the only picture of all of us we've ever gotten because of like extended people um, like marrying in and stuff um so that's probably the only picture we've got of all of us on mum's side yeah there you go there's that one love my family so much the next question is your favorite picture from a cruise oh my god right i know that i've got someone here so i've got different ones with like different people and different memories so i need to think about this Right, so I met Lauren when I was in year 10, I think. We just have some really funny photos from that cruise. Oh, we look so young. So this is one of my all time favorite pictures and we always use it when it's each other's birthdays. And I was 15 and Lauren was 14. And so we used to go to like the teen club, the kids club. Um, but we thought we were really cool because we like snuck into the doorway of the nightclub and we literally just walked in, sat down, took some photos and walked out again. Um, but I think it was because before 10 o'clock, oh yeah, it says on here before 10 o'clock, you can go in if you're under 18 and it was definitely before 10 o'clock, but we just thought we were really funny and this picture just makes me laugh. Yeah, and then that Christmas we went on another cruise like, I don't know why I went on two in one year, but we did. And Lauren was on the same one, which was crazy. So we just became so close so quickly. We were literally inseparable and people thought we were like sisters or cousins. So there's some more pictures here of us. Oh, and then, oh, and then there's my friends from America, Andrew and Kevin, and I just miss them so much. I met them when I was 13 and we're still in contact now. I just love them so much. So this one is me and Andrew. I love this picture. Believe it or not, I'm... 15 in this picture <laughs> i don't look 15 at all it's quite scary then we go onto my phone we'll do it we'll find a couple of more recent ones and this is supposed to be just show our picture but when you're with me you get thousands of pictures right so my, the last cruise i went on was in first year of uni this is one of my absolute favorite pictures this is me and my friend sydney i met sydney when i was six on a cruise and I think we've been on three or four together now we're literally just so close we speak most days and um, she's from America from Kentucky and that's one of my favorite pictures of us because I just think it's really sassy um, this is one of my absolute favorite pictures of me my parents and my brother and um, from a cruise I really like that one we look so cute I mean there's just so many pictures I could go through them for days I would pick like group pictures with loads of friends and stuff but I don't wanna to have to message every single person because I wanna get this video up tonight and people live in different time zones so I don't wanna to have to message like 20 people. Yeah, this one's funny, I was really pissed. <laughs> We'd been off the boat and we went to a beach club 
uh, me, my brother and Sydney and then we met up with our friend Christian at this beach club and then we got back on the boat at like just after lunch time and we were all a bit drunk from the cocktails so we were like we have to go to the pizza place so we went to the pizza and pasta Italian restaurant and I was literally sat there with my sunglasses on trying to like disguise the fact that I was so drunk and then I was reading my menu and Sydney got his picture of me or my brother did I can't remember who but that was really funny right moving on next one you at your happiest I always can never think of like my happiest because I'm just like always up and down up and down up and down all the time um but I did say in my video the other day that like I think my happiest like chunk was probably my gap year because it was just like that sudden freedom and you could do what you wanted and like there were so many new experiences so I'll find a good one from my gap year at some point so I'd say this is probably up there with one of my happiest this was when me and Aoife went to the Great Barrier Reef when we were in Australia and it was literally just like the most magical day couldn't think of anything better like seeing all that stuff and going on a boat trip it was just incredible oh yeah my 18th birthday party is one of my absolute favorite memories ever this was my 18th birthday party literally that's just one of my absolute favorite memories i just had all the best people there except the people that couldn't come obviously but <laughs> you know like it was just so so good my all my family is there loads of friends came from far and then afterwards we all camped out and there was like 30 of us camping out and it was just the funniest night ever. Um, yeah, that is just one of the best memories. So funny. I just have so many things I could think of. There's so many from school as well. Next, year seven you. Oh my God. I've definitely got a picture of year seven me on here. Um, because I made like a little collage of year seven me next to year 10 me next to the first day of year 13 me. Uh, year 12 me I mean here is the year 7 to year 10 and then here I'll blur out my um, school logo and then here is the year 12 but I had really short hair because I cut it for prom before and I hated it so just ignore how short my hair is but yeah the little year 7 me I just look so innocent and my uniform so big I've got my blazer done up I just look hilarious my shoulder pads are literally out here da, da, da. your ass <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> oh I've got loads saying you at your happiest that's so nice that everyone wants to see me at my happiest I've probably got loads of me laughing as well which probably like radiate happiness but I honestly have so many photos where I'm happy especially because I take photos mainly on like holidays or nights out or like birthday celebrations so they're all like my happiest memories anyway your favorite outfit oh my gosh love this question um <laughs> it's probably gonna have to be something more recent so let's have a look Oh my god, this is literally the hardest question ever. So I really, I really, really liked this outfit last summer because it was just so on trend last summer. But I probably wouldn't wear, well I probably would, I still have all the stuff. But it was um, those little like button up cardigans with jeans and I love these jeans, I literally wear them all the time. Um, so I love that outfit, but it's not my favourite outfit ever. I'm trying to find one. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favourite outfits. It's a play suit that I bought in Australia and I saw it one day and I was like, oh my god I really need that and so I just kept seeing it because it was I can't remember what shop it was from but it's one that's like all over Australia and I kept seeing it and I was like I really need that and so I sent my mum a picture of it from Australia and I was like I'm gonna get this and it's literally one of the best purchases ever it was quite expensive at the time but now I think about how much I've actually worn it and you can make it look different by wearing like a different bralette or different shoes and it can look so different so I've worn it casually and in the evening absolutely love it just, just ignore my face in this photo, but I really love this outfit. This is absolute Blair Waldorf vibes, a little skirt and shirt. Love this. It helps that I was really tanned here, so it looks better, but I really love that outfit. Okay, I really love this outfit. This is in New York, and I went to Times Square. I was literally just such a little happy bean there. So these trousers were from Aeropostale, and I still wear them. And then it's a little bandeau from Pretty Little Thing. Love this outfit, really love it. I should wear it again actually, I really love that outfit. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, next question. You working out? I don't know if I have a picture of me working out. Actually, I don't think I've ever taken a picture of me working out. 
I've got videos of me working out on YouTube somewhere. This is me straight after the half marathon. Still one of my absolute proudest achievements. I still can't believe I actually did it, but I'm hoping to do one again this year, believe it or not. I've not started training yet. I'll start training when it's warm and sunny, but not yet. Um, so yeah, I guess that's as close to like working out as I'll probably get in a photo. You probably wanted a really sweaty, ugly one, but I actually just don't take photos when I'm working out. Your favorite city? Oh my gosh. I think Sydney's got to be up there with one of my favorite cities. Here's a picture in front of me, uh, in front of me. Here's a picture of me in front of the Sydney Opera House. This is absolutely one of my favorite cities, I think. You just can't beat Australia and Sydney. It's just gorgeous, so safe, so much to do. The weather's amazing. I mean, oh, it was just incredible. Incredible. Um, cities, other cities. I mean, London has definitely got to be up there with one of my favorite cities. Here is a picture of me in Camden. Camden's not necessarily my favorite place in London, but London is one of my favorite cities. I'm trying to think of my other favorite cities that I've been to. Maybe Barcelona, I really enjoy Barcelona. Um, I don't really go to cities that often, to be honest. But yeah, Sydney and London, definitely. Next, you and your dog. I got so many good pictures of me and my dog. Oh, I love this one. This is me and my dog Gucci. She's my best friend, if you didn't know already, but she's my bestie. Um, yeah, this was us on a dog walk. She doesn't love me as much as I love her, but I think she likes me a bit. <laughs> I think I've done them all. So that was fun. I feel like I didn't really reveal any that embarrassing pictures, but that's because I probably won't put <laughs> pictures on here if they are that embarrassing. Um, <laughs> who knows? But let me know if you want a part two of this because there are definitely some worse pictures. I feel like people just weren't asking juicy things. Um, so let me know if you want part two. Let me know if you like this sort of video. Maybe I could do show me a video of because I feel like I've got loads of funny Snapchat memories and videos and stuff like that that I could find. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was just something entertaining to keep your mind off the world at the moment. And I hope you learned some stuff about me and saw some pictures that I never really show anyone that aren't on my Instagram stuff. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you want to see in the future and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!